All right. Let's get into a toy. Let's do a little bit of toy haulage. Okay. So what are we starting with? We're starting with something that I kind of remember, barely remember, not really remember. So this is Golden Girl from 1984. So I was probably six at the time. And is this the ripoff of She-Ra or is She-Ra a ripoff of Golden Girl? Now, I think I'm putting my money on this being the ripoff of She-Ra. But I believe they both came out in 1984. But, yeah. I like this. Anything sealed in 80s, I gotta buy. <laughs> or it seems like. Um, and I like this. Let's get a close-up of this figure here. Now, this here, this here, this uh, this shield looks very She-Ra-esque. Honestly, everything about this looks very She-Ra-esque, but that especially so yeah golden girl from 1984 galoob galoob and let's look at the back let's look at the back i didn't know it was this many figures in this line holy cow what the hell good stuff so this cost me 30 dollars. it's still it's still sealed now this part right here is crunched up this part of the box is very crunched up but that's okay that's okay uh, it cost me 30 I know online online prices for this have have this at like 50 to maybe even $75 under the right circumstances so Golden Girl from 1984 possibly a She-Ra ripoff or maybe <laughs> She-Ra borrowed from this who knows I'm sure somebody will tell me but uh, let's take a look at the top there let's see what's going on there Okay, some of the accessories. But yeah, I like this. I like this. This this really caught my eye. I was at a toy store that I hadn't been to in, gosh, I want to say maybe two years. But uh, they still had some good stuff. They still had some good stuff. All right, what's next? What's next? Uh, we still have some more toy-related stuff. I found some G.I. Joe party napkins. Look at that. Look at this. This is so interesting. And these were $3 a piece. And they're still relatively sealed. I know the plastic that it comes in, it's a little frayed. It's kind of unraveling a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We still have some uh, some action figure accoutrement, as you would say. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. The lady at the store, she called it ephemeral. Ephemeral. <laughs> I'm like, what you call, who do you call it ephemeral? But yeah. I like this. I like this. I, um, she thought she had like the tablecloths to go with it. Oh, I was so excited, but it turns out she didn't. But we got some party napkins. G.I. Joe party napkins. Still sealed up for $3 a piece. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now, let's get into a proper comic book haul. Yeah, let's get into a comic book haul. Comic book haul. Okay, let's get things in focus. Let's get things adjusted. All right, what are we starting with for this comic book haul? Incredible Hulk, number 333 from 1987. Now, does anything notice? Does anybody notice anything about this? So this is a J.C. Penny reprint, although the book originally came out in 1987. This book was reprinted in 1993, and uh, I like this. I like this a lot. I didn't even know this existed. I came across it, and I saw that. I'm like, oh, this is a reprint. So I paid, I think I paid either 4 or $5 for this. And I believe, I believe this book may go for, eh, I want to say, okay, the last one that sold, sold for $25 along with a copy of the original. And I have to imagine whoever bought it, bought it for this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Incredible Hulk number 333, reprint, reprint, JCPenney reprint. 
Now here's another reprint that it, I had on my want list for whatever reason. Incredible Hulk number 335. This is the So Much Fun reprint. And what did I want to say about this? This book really doesn't go for anything, but uh, I believe I paid ugh, either three or four dollars for this, which is fine, which is fine. I like these so much so much fun reprints, especially a nice high grade copy like this. All right, what's next? What's next? Uh, let's do some X Men, Uncanny X Men number one sixty one, the origin of Magneto, where we find out that uh, Magneto was in a concentration camp, and that's why he hates man. That's why he hates man. All those kind of meme comments. Magneto was right <laughs> in his hatred for man. Uh, this cost me, I think, like a little over $10. It's a nice high grade, so, eh, okay. All right, I really, this cover is kind of jarring. This big, this big uh, lemon head looking character. I know he's part of Hydra, but it's it's really jarring. It's a, this isn't that great of a cover. <laughs> Dave Cockrum failed on this cover. I don't care what anybody says. I don't like it. All right, what's next? What is this book going for now, though? I don't know. <laughs> I paid I paid I think like eleven dollars for it. New X Men Academy X number five. Uh, what is this, the first appearance of Pixie? I think I paid, I don't know, a couple dollars for it. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, I like this book. I like this book, y'all. I like this book. Ooh, y'all need to pay attention to this one. Pay attention to this one. Pay attention to this one. Now, I talked about the variant uh, a few videos ago, but this is Avengers Arena, number one, and this is the regular cover. I like this book a lot and this has okay now where uh, Avengers Academy kind of blew up overnight thanks to me by the way uh, I think this book should be blowing up just as much if not even more so I like this book even more than Avengers Academy number one uh, so we have the first, so it's like a mix of uh, the characters from Avengers Academy, but it also has quite a few first appearances. The first appearance of Cullen Bloodstone, uh, who's Elsa Bloodstone's brother. The first appearance of Riker, a.k.a. Death Locket. Uh, she is the um, girl who has the, um, she, she basically the female, female teenage version of... Um, of Deathlock, and another notable character is the first appearance of Kid Britain. I I've talked about this in the previous video, but I like this one even more so than Avengers Academy number one because of these characters' ties to already established and popular characters. You know what I'm saying? So first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone's brother, the first appearance of the female Deathlock. You know what I'm saying? So I like this book even more so, where Avengers Academy 1 has potential. I think this one has even more potential. What you, th what you think about that, player? All right, what's next? So this book really doesn't go for anything. I bought this for cover price, and I'm, there are so many cover price copies of this available, so I like this book even more. So, all right, what's next? What's next? Secret Wars, Secret Love, number one. The, the romance take, the kind of like the romance, romance homage cover. All right, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, and Robbie will never know how I feel. Oh, okay. Because I don't know what it is. I never understood this cover, but now I do. <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. All right, so this cost me, I think, maybe cover price, I believe. Maybe. Or maybe a little bit over cover price. Uh, tomb. Uh, and what is this book going for now? Like around 20 to 30 I found another copy of Tomb of Dracula number 45, first appearance of Deacon Frost. I couldn't leave it there. I couldn't leave it there. This book was a little under four, a little under forty dollars. So maybe like thirty-eight dollars after taxes. 
I like this. I like, and this is a copy that I'm happy with. Uh, the first, the first two copies that I bought that I had shown in the previous video, uh, they were kind of, eh, but I like this one even, but I like this one the most because I like the condition on it. Ooh, let's get close. Yeah, closer than close. So yeah, all right. I like this one. This is a this is a copy that I'd be happy with. This is a copy that I'm happy with. Okay, let's get focused. All right, what's next? What's next? Ooh, here's a book that I have never shown, but I feel the time is right. So we have Moon Knight, number 188. I bought this book for $15. I don't know how long ago, but I had never shown it. And at the time, I thought I had overpaid for it, but now this book is starting to come into its own. So this is the first appearance of the Sun God uh, Tootsie Bootsy. Yes, that's his name. The Sun God Tootsie Bootsie. And uh, there is a lot of speculation on this character as to whether he'll show up in the Moon Knight TV show. Right? Because there's nothing really confirmed. But uh, I think there's just kind of rampant speculation. Okay? And uh, I think this book is going for 100 now. It's a good cover. It's a good cover. It took me a long time to find this book. I was listening to Les Miserables, uh, the actual audio book. <laughs> I was listening to the audio book of Les Miserables uh, while I was searching for this. And I got like halfway through <laughs> before I actually found this thing. <laughs> Because it's so buried. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I found this. And it's going for a nice little pretty penny. I actually found some other cool stuff as well. I found another third print of that Moon Knight number one. Um, from, uh, I think, 2014. And just found a lot of cool shit along the, along the journey. <laughs> In my long boxes. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, okay, so these books here, these next few books here are cover price or less variants. Cover price or less variants. I like these. I like these. I like these. Now, I picked these up maybe a month or so ago, and I'm just now getting around to showing these off. It, these are, I'm, I'm playing catch up right now. I like these. I like this one in particular. So we have Howard the Duck, number 11, the action figure variant. Now, certain... Uh, there's a there's a certain few of these action figure variants that have hit and this is one of them this one is going for about thirty dollars plus and but this this is the last time I checked and the last time I checked was a couple of weeks ago so uh, if I'm wrong please please keep it to yourself <laughs> and uh, yeah this one is doing a little something this one is definitely doing a little something okay so howard the duck number 11 action figure variant going for a roughly 30 plus dollars uh, another cover price variant that i found was fantastic four number 10 bill sinkevich variant featuring herbie on the cover i like this i don't think this book really goes for too much but the cover is so dynamic why not pick this up this is a great looking cover especially if you're a herbie fan old school fantastic four mid what what is this like a mid 70s character something like that all right what's next what's next I, I again i don't think this book really goes for anything but uh do your favor check check and see what's see what that book is going for i, I think when i get off of doing this video i'll uh see what it's going for okay another cover price book so we have justice league number 30 the mad variant oh crap i forgot this is a first appearance oh 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 yeah this is the uh jessica cruz cover yeah this is so this is the first um first uh, i, I want to say second cameo appearance of uh jessica cruz and the uh other in the full appearances in 31 and the cameo cameo is in Green Lantern number 20. So this is the first cameo appearance of... You know what? Screw it. I'll show you. <laughs> this is my video, baby. If you don't want people opening up books in the video, then you do your own. 
All right, so where where you at, sweetie? Where you at, sweetie? Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. There's Jessica Cruz. There she is, there she is. Boop, 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 boop. Looking all scared and shit, look at you. Oh, man, she's scared of the rain. Don't be scared of the rain, girl. Don't be scared of that power. Don't be scared of the power of the rain, baby. It's here for you. It's here to make you better. Let me, let me upgrade you. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Thunderbolts, number 166. I like this cover. I saw it for cover price. Why not? It features that uh, the Jim Lee um, X-Men, X-Men 268 uh, cover swipe. All right. Okay. I don't, I don't know if this book really goes for anything or not. Okay. Now, this is the greatest waste of a 1 in 25 variant in history. I, you know what? I think this might even be a higher ratio. I think this might even be a higher ratio. I think this is a 1 in 40. But whatever the case is, this is the greatest waste of a variant. So we have Earth 2, number 19. This is a, a comic that I have talked about in previous videos. This is the first appearance of Black Superman, Val Zod. First appearance of Val Zod. And you waste the incentive variant on a shitty Scribble Knots cover. My God, why? <laughs> this is the way. Oh my God, this is a nasty waste of a for, of a variant that is also a first appearance. My God, why? Oh, I I almost didn't want to buy it, but I just figured, you know what? It's it's still the first appearance of Val's uh, waste. It's a waste. It's a waste. I'm not quite sure why I bought this, but I did. Um, Earth 2 World's End number 26. This is a variant. Eh, okay. It was cover price. Okay. Spider-Man Deadpool number 9. Now, I bought this variant for cover price. Now, this is... Ooh, it's a Wills, Wills Portacio variant as well. Ooh, nice. So, you got Wills Portacio doing Deadpool and Spider-Man. Oh, I like this. I like this. Now, it's also the first appearance of let's see if we can find her really fast if not i'm gonna have to put this book away but uh first appearance of itsy bitsy where you at sweetie where you at boo where you at where you at uh where where oh shoot i can't find you oh i'm so sorry um i regret opening up this book already oh there she is yay all right look at that so first appearance i think this is the first full appearance of itsy bitsy but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think we've seen this character outside of this book, and outside of whatever story arc she was in. But uh, yeah, I still like this. I like this a lot. And it's a Will Portacio variant. Oh shit! It's on it. Popping baby. Hell to the yeah. That's what's up. Look at that. So, Spider-Man, Deadpool number nine, first appearance of Itsy Bitsy. Now I like. This variant, I came across this, I saw it, it was love at first sight. So we've got Mr. and Mrs. X number two, the Jen Bartell variant. Like this, love it, love it, love it. Found this for cover price. Uh, what did I want to say about this? I could have swore this book was going for a little something something. I don't, ah, crap. You know what? It's a good looking cover and uh, I decided to buy it. How about that? I really don't know if it goes for anything, but I like the cover. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Ooh, I like this cover a lot. And I'm surprised this book doesn't go for anything. So we've got uh, Transformers versus G.I. Joe. Uh, this is a Joe Quinones variant. and uh, Or rather, Joe Quin Oh, Okay, G.I. Joe. Or rather, oh, Jesus. Transformers versus G.I. Joe, number seven, subcover from IDW. That was a, that was a mouthful of... That was a major league mouthful, but this is a uh, Joe Quinones, Joe Amazing Spider-Man number 678 variant, Joe Quinones, and he did this. Look how awesome this freaking cover is. Seriously. Oh, my God. Wow. I, I, my God, I love this cover. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Ah, look at that. Beautiful freaking cover, man. 
Beautiful cover. Love this cover. This cover had this cover is everything. I don't care. And the book doesn't even go for anything, but I I just decided finally I'm gonna I'm I just decided to break down, pick this book up. This book is awesome. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh Black Panther World of Wakanda number two. I forget who does the cover for this. But it's a good looking cover nonetheless. Okay. All right, all right. Uh Nova number two, the uh, uh Frank Avelia cover. That was cover price. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I could, this book was hot for like a minute and not, but not anymore. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this contest of champions. Number two contest of champions. Number two, the, uh, Ken bald variant. This is, um, this is a, this is a, uh, the comic book artist. Uh, he set the world record for being the oldest, uh, comic book artist to do a cover. And um, he, I think, I believe he was 95 at the time, and he was a, he was like one of the original golden age uh, artists. Like he used to do, um, I think he, yeah, he did Captain America. I'm pretty sure he did. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I also believe he co-created Sun Girl. I think, I think. Don't quote me on that one. But yeah, I love this cover. Every time I see it and see it for cheap, I go ahead and buy it because this is a great looking cover. Oh my God, look at this. Now this is a book, I didn't buy this for cover price. I didn't buy this book for cover price. No, I did not. I did not buy this book for cover price. I bought it for less. I got this boy for $2. I found this thing for $2. So Contest of Champions number eight, the Raza variant, yeah. Now for a time, for a time, this book wasn't going for shit. I remember finding copies for cover price or whatever. This was an easy, easy, easy cover price book. I want to say like at the beginning of 2021. I remember seeing this book and going, oh, that's not going for anything and passing it up. You know what I'm saying? But then I decided, you know what? This is a great cover. This is a gorgeous cover. Let's go ahead and buy this book and see what happens. Let's try to find as many cover price or less copies as you can and i did i did i, I think i want to say I'd, i have at least one two i, I want to say i have four copies and i know i have at least three but yeah this is a great 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 cover featuring uh, america chavez monica rambo black panther adam the blue marvel and captain marvel so yeah 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 great looking cover this book is finally coming into its own becoming what a an easy easy 75 dollar book e i, I want to how about an easy 50 dollar book i've seen this book go as high as 80 you know 75 dollars but yeah this is a great looking cover great looking cover and i remember the days when it was when you can find it for cover price. I remember those days. Remember them well. All right, what's next? Found another $2 variant. Found another $2 variant. New Avengers number 33. This is the, um, I guess you can, it's not a photo cover. It's, it is art, but it's like that photorealistic art. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay, all right, this was $2.00. I know it was featured on the Spec 10. It was not my pick, but I'm glad somebody did nominate it, though. All right, cool. All right, what's next? What's next? Ooh, found two copies of Master of Kung Fu number 115. First appearance of Death Dealer. I believe I paid $2 for a copy, and I, played, and I paid $3 for another copy. Uh, again, these this was like a month ago before that Master of Kung Fu trailer really blew this book up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I found a couple copy, found a couple more copies. Uh, also, Captain Amerigo Vespucci, number three seventy three. I forget whose first appearance that was, but this was like the hot book from like a couple of months ago. No, uh, what is this? Young Justice number one. Young Justice number one. Featuring the first appearance of Teen Lantern. No self-respecting black girl is dressing like this. They are not dressing like this. <laughs> no self-disrespecting black girl is dressing like this. She looks like an idiot. Anyway, 
uh, we have incredible found another copy of the first first appearance of Ghost Spider, uh, Incredible Hulk's annual number one, and I also found the connecting cover Deadpool annual, and there's also an Amazing Spider-Man annual that uh, fits right there. But I like this image. I like that image. I didn't I, for a while this book. This Deadpool annual was much harder to find than the Incredible Hulk annual. But I uh, found this. I think I paid like, uh, I want to say, damn it. I think I paid a, like maybe $5 for that. So we've got Futures and Batgirl number one. So this is the first appearance of, oh crap. Black Batgirl? <laughs> Black Girl. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Oh, Tiffany Fox is bad girl. How about that? Yeah. Okay, so what's up with this? I, like, okay, I, I remember reading the, uh, I remember reading this book, but I forgot what happens in it. But, yeah, so that's a, a Bane-looking chick. All right, whatever, 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 whatever. But this is the non-lenticular version, and uh, I think the, the non-lenticular version is slightly more popular how about that all right what's next what's like what's next okay let's blow through these books here i'll try to remember how i pick these books up okay so we've got um marvel spotlight captain america uh so this is the um this is kind of like the promo for the captain america movie from 10 years ago uh, a couple copies of uh justice league number 30 and 31 uh crap i forgot how much i paid for these i want to say i want to say less than cover price i think there was a sale going on and i found these oh you know what i think these were two dollars a piece i think i think um what is this uh she hulk number 22 first appearance of i think the some sort of skull scroll agent jazenda I forget, I forget. But it's the first appearance. Oh, I think it's the first cameo. Let's see. Let's see if she's on the at the very end. I don't think so. Okay, never mind, never mind, never, never mind, never mind, excuse me. I know this was $2. Um, Captain America, $3.41. Uh, this was $2 as well. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So this is Batman 12 from the New 52. The only reason why I bought this is because... It was a newsstand. Love newsstands. It was two bucks. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. I believe I paid like three dollars for this and number four. I think this is maybe a dollar. I forget. I forget. Uh, Captain America number three. Oh, another copy. Uh, I believe I paid a, a couple of dollars for this Avengers Initiative featuring Reptile. So this is the first appearance of the character. West Coast Avengers number ninety four. Uh, something to do with uh, ah crap I forget <laughs> I forget. Oh no no no. So this is the first appearance of um, James Rhodes as the War Machine. Oh my gosh! What the heck? I keep running. Oof. Captain America 373. Uh, I believe I paid $6 for this. Uh, da, 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 da. Avengers 186. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I bought this. I believe that was $5. Or no, no, that was like $2, I think. Scarlet Witch. What is this? Avengers uh, ba, 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 503. Uh, Scarlet Witch 12. I believe that was like... Ah, crap, maybe a couple of dollars. Uh, a couple of dollars for this. Terminator 1 and 2. These were newsstands. Oh, another one. Look at the hairline on this guy. <laughs> um, Scarlet Witch, number 3. Number 1 and number 2 from the 90s. Uh, what is this? Oh, last but not least. Uh, Savage Avengers, number 3. The uh, uh, Venom Conan. Venom symbiote uh versus conan all right so that's my haul i'm sticking to it this video is going on long enough and uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time all right bye